Happy Star Wars Day. May the fourth be with you. Now, we'll wait just a moment. It is Monday, so it takes everyone a little longer to log in. All right, perfect. Well, happy Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. And in celebration of Star Wars, it is one of my family's favorites. So if it is yours as well, I'm sure that you might be watching a movie or wearing your Star Wars shorts, shorts, shirts, <laughs> or just having a good time, you know, celebrating Star Wars. And if you didn't know, there are 11 Star Wars movies and TV shows, TV series, and the newest one is The Mandalorian, which has the really cute baby Yoda. So I'm sure that, you know, you've seen pictures. So if you're not a Star Wars fan, it took me a little while to become a Star Wars fan. But baby Yoda is pretty cute. So happy Star Wars Day. Happy Monday, May 4th. Oh, I'm dropping everything this morning. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's Monday, it's Monday, it's Monday. <laughs> so your fun facts for today, May 4th. Thought of the day, all progress takes place outside the comfort zone by Michael John Bobbick. And I will tell you that is definitely what we have been doing since distance learning because all of this has been outside our comfort zone completely. Joke of the day, what did the big flower say to the little flower? What did the big flower say to the little flower? Hi, bud. So that's actually a science fact. If you're not sure about why it's called a bud, check out your science teachers and ask them. Random fact of the day, there are 2,000 thunderstorms on Earth every minute. That's a lot of thunderstorms on Earth every single minute, 2,000. Now, if you weren't aware, not only is today Star Wars Day, but this entire week is a super special week for our teachers. It is Teacher Appreciation Week. And so I would like to, first of all, thank all of our faculty and staff for being so amazing, um, not only with everything that they do during the normal school year of actually being in the building and teaching and just loving your kiddos, but also for all the extra hard work they are doing now during distance learning. I think it's much harder for them to teach our children now than it ever was in the classroom, and it takes more hours. So I would like to say a huge, huge thank you, and I'm super proud of all of our St. Joseph's faculty and staff, and just show them some love this week. I know we have a couple of things planned for them. It's secret, so we can't tell but we are looking forward to celebrating the teachers all week. And I will say a big shout out to the teachers as parents, because parents now are also the teachers at home and they are helping our students learn with all of the distance learning. So thank you parents who are at home teaching your students as well. And your journal entry idea actually has to do with teachers and the school. So today's journal entry what is your favorite school memory and why? What is your favorite school memory and why? And your challenge today is to send me a picture of you and one of your teachers. It can be an old picture. It can be one of the newest pictures you have, but I would love to see you doing something with some of your teachers. So send those my way, just email them, and then I will be uploading because I can't wait to see all the wonderful things that you have done with your teachers throughout the years. Happy birthday to, and actually on, um, we don't have any birthdays on May the 4th, which is very surprising, but we did have several birthdays yesterday. Happy birthday to Matthew in seventh grade. Patrick in fifth grade, and Alex in sixth grade. I hope you boys had a fantastic day. Now, if you would please join me in saying the school's mission statement. St. Joseph Catholic Schools develops morally responsible students 
through participation in the sacramental life of the Catholic Church, academic excellence, and service to God and others. If you would please stand for our pledge and our morning prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you would please stay standing for our prayer. Our St. Joseph Parish Prayer Intention for the week. For the state, national, and world leaders, that their decisions to address this worldwide COVID-19 pandemic are successful in keeping all of us safe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. This is a special prayer for our teachers. Lord Jesus Christ, we recognize that you are the master teacher. You are the model for all educators because you lead all to the truth, the truth of yourself. No matter their subject area or academic specialty, inspire our teachers to both seek and proclaim your will, sharing the good news that you bring as they look for opportunities to draw students ever closer to you as your disciple. Since we cannot give what we do not have, enliven and encourage Catholic educators to teach with enthusiasm, zeal, and most importantly, with the virtues of faith, hope, and love. May they recognize that teachers are most effective when they see the face of God in their students. We ask this in your name. Amen. Please join in saying the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I hope all of you have a wonderful Monday and a great start to the week, and we will see you tomorrow. And tomorrow is also a special day, Cinco de Mayo, so that's for Senora Hensley. Happy Monday!